Hey YouTube, it's Sudos once again. How everybody been doing? Um, I've been doing real good. I just been real busy or whatever. So if you haven't seen me in a while, I just been really, really busy doing other stuff, errands and a whole bunch of stuff. So um I'm back. Um I wanted to do a product review on Clinique Stay Matte Sheer Press Powder and it's all free. This is how the box looks. I don't know if you can see it or not. And um, this is how it looks. It's very, very pretty. It's square. It's like a light greenish teal color, I guess, or whatever. And the color that I have is Stay Brandy, the last color. And I don't have this on right now, but... Um, this is how it looks and um oh it's stay brandy 11 it's the last color um I have to tell the truth I really didn't like this powder that much um it was alright but it wasn't the best um you could tell the difference between my Iman and the uh, Clinique this one's round of course um let me see this is how it looks together. The Iman is more like a reddish and the Clinique is just like a brownish color or whatever. And you could tell the difference. Um, this powder was really nice on oil control and shine um, reduction or whatever. But the only problem I had is that it looked it, it looked it so weird on my face. Um, the Iman powder, it don't look that weird on my face. I have the Iman on right now. And it don't look real um, weird or whatever. And it has good coverage. Really, really good. It's good on oil control. And the reason why I bought Clinique is because I've been wanting to try Clinique. But I really didn't know if it was going to be good or bad. And I'm also a makeup addict. so. But, um... I liked it a little bit, but it wasn't really that good. Um, like like I said, the coloring was weird. It looks natural, whatever, right now. But when I put it on, it doesn't look really good for my um, neck and my own skin tone. So, And um, it was great on shine control, like I said, and oil or whatever. It was one of the best pressed powders I ever had on that. It was really good, but the color was just weird on me and I kept putting it on I used a sponge it comes with so if you don't like sponges please I know and I tried a uh, kabuki brush excuse me a kabuki brush on with it as well and it still looked weird um, it is also sheer like it says sheer matte uh, press powder but a lot of powders that I tried are not sheer and they have a little bit of coverage. This one did not have coverage at all. And I need coverage for my um, discoloration and my acne as well. So that was a big part on the powder. So I paid $19 for this. But I'm taking it back at Sephora tomorrow or the next day. And um, it was, I gave it three stars on sephora.com and on amazon.com it almost made it but bottom line the color and the coverage was not really impressive so i have to take it back and buy something else um i don't know if i'm gonna get another powder or not i've been trying so many mac um clinique and what other one i've tried the sephora one as well the powder foundation if you haven't seen the video um just look for it or whatever on my page or whatever but um i might try it again because this girl said that she tried the r55 color and it looked really good on her so i might try it again but i don't know i might just stick with the iman old bloody press powder or i might just get another powder or whatever i get um i also been trying a lot of primers as well so I'm going to do some more videos on those, some more primers I tried, and um, some more eyeshadow. I know I've been saying eyeshadow tutorials, but I'm going to get to it though. Um, oh, I have four minutes, y'all. 
but bottom line like i said i didn't like it the coverage i need at least medium coverage if not full so i cannot just not have none because i have discoloration you know acne problems so but it was great on shine and all absorbing but the color and coverage was not oppressive so that's what the two issues i had with it um i paid 19 dollars online at sephora.com let me look at my slip and all together with shipping and everything it came out to be i don't even have it on here that's crazy oh it came out to be 31 dollars so i have 31 dollars to spend in sephora.com i mean sephora um so i might just go and buy a primer or another powder or something i don't know i might just get like a lipstick or a lip gloss or whatever but it is going back so i just wanted to do a review on it before i did and i was scared because i thought i was going to take it back today and i was going to show it to you guys but um i'm doing it now so i just wanted to do a review quick one and um that's all i have to say it's very pretty though i have to say and i really liked it but the color and the coverage is wrong and i love the shine control and oh i'm just so mad because i really liked it i really really liked it and it has the cute clinique sign on there i don't know if you can see it and it was really cute but it didn't work out for me so i'm taking it back but that is it that's all i have to say about it um if you have any questions or comments please write them on my page or on the video bottom or whatever and please rate of course as always to sudus s-u-e-d-u-c-e -E. um i have two more minutes so i will be making more videos like i said i'm doing primers now because i still haven't um found the right primer i tried the monostan trait for gel but it's not really that good tried the iman was all right but it's still not that good so i'm still trying primers and i will be showing them next time or whatever so please take care um please rate comment subscribe to my page thank you bye oh hold on bye